This is why I woke up today, to be in here to do this segment. This gentleman here has opened five restaurants in three years, one of which was called America's Hottest Restaurant. Today he is in our kitchen. You know what? I'm going to own it. He's in my kitchen. Oh! Making his favorite breakfast sandwich, which is now my nice. favorite breakfast Fight sandwich, words. the original Fight gangsta. Words. Please welcome Jeremy <laughs> Ball. Anybody who has children, you know school, there's always the upside down day and all that stuff. This is breakfast for dinner day. Oh, everybody for, loves this breakfast is amazing, for dinner. Right? Mm. Which is really um, the concept, right? How did this become the concept of your restaurant? Right, so all my restaurants are Americana inspired, right? And uh -huh. I think that breakfast for dinner is the most Americana you can basically mm. be. Sure. Eating, you know, carbs and fat and bacon sausage right when you wake up in the morning. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Keeping your system all day pretty much, sure. right? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. So uh, that's how the idea for Nighthawk came about. We have one here in Los Angeles called Nighthawk Breakfast Bar. And then this dish is actually from our Nighthawk AM, which is in Chicago. That's the fast casual version. And that's sure. where you'll find the original gangster. Oh, great comfort food at night. And, like and you named the original gangster after Mark Sinus, obviously. Of course. Yo. Well, that was, yeah. 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 Right. I didn't know how to bring it up, but I figured. <laughs> yeah. 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 I appreciate just, that. Right appreciate right Can we get to the sausage? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. yeah this is, you, you mix your own sausage. Yeah, right? so we make our sausage in house. Okay. Right, so we start with, you know, your favorite ingredient, bacon. Bacon. Bacon right, so inside right? the sausage. There's bacon inside the sausage. So is that just pork sausage? Yeah, pork sausage. Pork sausage. Okay. There's some bacon. There's um, some, some more pork. Right, of course. He's, by the way, he just, normally that would be two of those, but I, we had to back off. Yeah, we had to. Yeah. 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 I think people right. would believe there would be yeah. that much sure. bacon. Exactly. All right, so what's next? Uh, we have Italian seasoning. Can okay. we dig in here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Please, start, start. When did you need an invitation to eat? I mean, I don't know. I just, <laughs> Sage, I was Jeremy, trying to Sage. be polite. We were okay. See, Mark, sugar. if it was really Brown your sugar. kitchen, you would have known. Uh, <laughs> yeah. right. Ooh, Ooh. Got you, wow. uh -huh. Oh my Cayenne God. pepper. Cayenne pepper There's in there. There's a good amount of ingredients in here. Ooh, yeah. goodness. Salt. Salt goes in. Pepper and goes pepper. in. Pepper. Okay. Is that maple syrup? Maple syrup. Oh, interesting. Oh. Wow, look at that. Well, it's breakfast. Wow, you know, Mark you have mayo. It. And then you're here you not going to believe it. You have your red wine vinegar. Add a little bit of city and it helps really, mm. you know, kind of disperse the ingredients through okay. the sausage yeah. and mix it. And I'm actually going to let you mix it. I'm oh, gonna, I'm gonna let you he's going to let me do something honor. in my own kitchen. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. So all right. So, <laughs> so this we mix this all in. Right. Right. And it comes out, uh, and you make yeah, little so patties out of it. You basically right? make little patties. Um, you know, depending on how big you want them, you can do like oh, four ounces. Uh, then once you have these patties done, you throw one. They so go on. Jeremy distracted you so we could cook with you out of the way. Did you say you're right? I'm still washing. Still washing my hands over here. So you're going to throw it in for about five minutes on the top. Then we're going to flip it for another three minutes, and that should have it cooked all the way through. This okay. aioli is insane. So that's actually what we're about to make next. Yeah. It's yeah. Slow your roll, Debbie. Okay? This, seriously, you Let should me. put on everything. It's better than aioli. It's, it's actually it's so bacon good. fat mayo. What? Shows oh, how oh, yeah. so, so good. So, wow. yeah. so you're gonna, oh we're gosh. actually going to use the bacon... Uh, the bacon fat that's left over from the bacon that we cooked to put in the sausage, so more mm. bacon, more fat. Mm. Oh. We're going to take the bacon fat, and we're going to put it in our mayo. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness gracious. Right? <laughs> right? Look away. Look away. Look away. Look away. Look away. Right? Any in the bowl. We want to make sure it all Right, but if you don't through. see it happening, you don't know it's there. So oh, right. for yep. sure. Yeah. Right. Right. Look right. Look but away. you taste it, don't you? Oh, it's yeah. So good. Right? And but I can tell myself it's fat-free. <laughs> yeah. Live a little bit, okay? Now you're really going to have a dress dilemma. that, right? All right, oh my gosh. so. Can I answer, you want to give it a small test? Yeah. I'll give it another mm. small test. Mm. Yeah, mm. think, I think it's we're good. good. We're good. <gasps> now, All right, do you so. have to worry about, like, I assume that has to be cold or yeah. room temperature? Exactly. So once you cook off the bacon, you want to put it in the fridge. Just to make sure it's not like, piping hot, basically. Right. And then once it's cooled down, you see it hardens like how we just saw it here. And, you throw and it that's it. That's it. Just that's mayo it. and bacon fat. Mayo and bacon. Jeremy, you okay. grew up in a restaurant. You grew up uh, yes. actually above a restaurant. Yeah. Your family owned a cafe oh, in downtown yeah. L.A. What lessons did you learn as a kid that you have carried on to adulthood and, and owning your own restaurants now? Yeah, so my mom was in a cafe growing up, and you know, I feel like a lot of the hospitality, oh yeah, that's, that's oh, that's, oh, that's when I had long hair. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at that picture. Oh. That, was, that was taken about two months ago. I've aged yeah. quite a <laughs> since then, but. So, I, you know, I think growing up in restaurants, you really learn the, fundamental, the fundamentals of hospitality, which are, you know, smiling customer service, which mm -hmm. may seem obvious now, but. You know, a lot of those, a lot of times, I think that's forgotten in hospitality, and it's become very entertainment centric and about mm. who's there, and not about the actual taking care of your customers mm -hmm. and being, you know, hospitable. Right. Mm -hmm. So, that, I think those are the the kind of the notions that stuck to me my whole mm -hmm. life, and that I use every day today. Which is what? why your restaurants are so successful. Yes. True. Let's assemble, shall that we? Yes. Yeah. So we have <laughs> you have so something I actually have oven warming right, right here, so yeah. we can turn this off. We'll push yeah. this to the back there. Um, all right. So the patties come out. I've already. 
dusted these okay. with the way to dusted them. So you know what? You're gonna do both sides. I knew you were gonna say yeah, you that. Can't you can't do bacon on one yeah, side. You yeah, have yeah, to do that both would sides. be. I mean, come on. It would on. be wrong. Yeah. It would be wrong. So I'll hand that off to you there. Thank you. Mm-hmm. That mayonnaise would also be so good with French fries. I was just gonna say that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Seriously, like eight There's nothing you things. can't put that in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, good. So that goes on there. Yeah. Then and we're, then we're gonna get our cheesy scrambled eggs. So these are scrambled with cheddar and butter. Of course. Because we needed. More, more fat. More, more fat. Yeah. I mean, you're not oh gonna. Gosh. Those light. women on the Titanic said no to dessert. Uh, so I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Eat. The boat went down. So eat. The, Live in the moment. Yeah. Oh, I don't that know was, what that means. That but, was a um, random. Yeah. Right. Random went out so far over my head. Hopefully this boat isn't going <laughs> down. Is it that that I understood it? Live in the moment. Live in the moment. I, I got oh, that. Oh, I see what you're saying. Live in the moment. But isn't? I mean, honestly, you should be eating this and and being your pajamas. <laughs> at night time, you know, for dinner because it's upside down day, all of it, like, I got wonderful. It. Where is it? I mean, I don't know, you could eat it for breakfast, for dinner, for lunch, for a snack. You could. Mm -hmm. I really pack you up will. <laughs> wow, that's good, good, Mark. You have to, I mean, well, honestly, I, I, Mark loves bacon almost as much as he loves his children. <laughs> it goes children, then bacon. You know what, well, we actually have done a test and we're waiting for the results to come back as to which is grading out higher. But yes. we think children are just above bacon, just but we're not sure. Maybe. We we're not sure. But I'm telling bacon you, when you take bacon. a bite of this, I'm not sure where the test will actually lie. Okay. This we, might be the best thing ever. Yes, let's cheers this bad boy. Boom. Did you guys enjoy it? Yeah, Like a bacon action. This is a bro moment happening right now. Look at that.